I'm in Bangkok for the Wesper Seniors World Championship. The tournament is taking place at the central city Bangna shopping centre, slightly east of the city centre and slightly west of what's to the right of it. Let's go inside. The tournament is only open to the oldest Scrabble players on the planet, but through a technicality in the small print of my birth certificate, I too am eligible to compete alongside the seniors. A real privilege. We're on the fifth floor. By the food balcony. 14 players play 20 games over three days. Games start each day at 10.30 to accommodate the seniors' predilection for late night partying. Despite the high stakes, the atmosphere is cordial and it's not long before I am offered my first ever piece of jackfruit. We are soon underway. Pressure is intense and I take an early opportunity to visit the restroom. On the wall of the toilet is a giant bug. I wonder if it's dangerous, so I put my hand next to it. I sense, using sight, that the creature is assessing my prey-worthiness with his tentacles. He clearly likes what he sees. Suddenly the mood turns very, very ugly, and I whip my hand away before the creature can strike. The action continues apace with Jerry Carter, the hometown favourite, making a strong start. The food balcony has lots of restaurants right next to the playing arena, so lunch and dinner are a snap. A train passes. I'm playing Tony Sim from Singapore and I have a bingo. The train passes again. At the end of day one, Carter, the unstoppable Scrabble machine, has a commanding 8-0 lead. Sim is second with six wins, and I am a further game behind. Easy choice for dinner, pepper lunch. Gorgeous sizzling food, but I'm wholly unaware of what's happening outside. The monsoon rains have come early this year to the Okavango Delta. Torrential and relentless, floodwaters start to rise. I wait in vain for a break in the rain, then make a dignified sprint to the taxi rank. Brothers in adversity, the taxi driver and I say nothing. What a relief to make it back to the Awana Hotel and the welcoming sounds of the musical chandelier above my porch. The following morning, the floodwaters have abated I head back to the Bangna shopping centre. It's morning of day two. Eight games today. Can anyone catch Carter? I'm drawn against the Malaysian powerhouse Pui Wui, while Carter plays Sim. And they make an early start. 
Carter's unbeaten record ends in flames, as Sim notches up a 200-point margin of victory. I beat Pooey Wooey and am next up against Carter. The game's a nail-biter, and I steal victory from the jaws of defeat in the dying seconds of the game. Carter trails by 16 with this rack. He knows I have these tiles and can't go out in one. He has to go out in two and outscore me by 17. There are two winning plays, Curve and Crove. But under immense time pressure, Carter plays Cuve. I play Die for 25 and go on to win by just four points. After Curve or Crove, my best play is Eyed and Carter could have won with Bile. Carter's travies continue with a phony Targas against Sanjoy Gupta of India. And a bruising encounter with Tanjin Chaw from Malaysia. Day two closes with Sim in pole position. Carter and I in hot pursuit. On the taxi ride back, I exchange banter with the cabbie. Yeah. For those who want to know what it feels like to be a ship, the Awana Hotel is located right next door to the Chemstar Ship Simulation Centre. The Awana Hotel is a short walk from the playing arena and an even shorter taxi ride. I am staying on the sixth floor in the luxury Maharaja suite with panoramic views over the rainforest and the city centre beyond. The corridor window affords views over one of the klongs which crisscross the city like canals. Outside, I have a private pool, shared with the other guests, and a water fountain, also shared. Day three, and the floodwaters are gone. It's the final day, four games left, Everything to play for. Game one, I squeak to a narrow win against Carter. But in extraordinary scenes on table one, Sim has won an unwinnable game due to a unicorn event in the modern game, a disconnected word. Eyewitness Ron Beginski saw what happened. A normal word, plays tiles out and could run the game. End race, Kadja, Codgers. Dancer up here, the dancer was connected to any tile on the board. Reeling from the shock, round two starts on time. Pooey Dancer Wooey squaring up against Ron Beginski. Whilst Tanjin Shaw faces Sim. A much-needed lunch break precedes the final two games. In addition to the restaurants in the food balcony, players also have access to the food patio in the basement. Fabulous and overwhelming choice of food. And that's what I call soup.
there are two crucial rounds to go. Tournament director Paul Richards prints the fixtures. I'm in first place and I'm playing Sim. Level on games, but behind on spread. As the pre-end game approaches, I draw the crucial Y for Glitzy and play Tide to move into a 24-point lead. The board has few hotspots, but a small number of bingo lanes. Sim bingos with Obtusa, and I can't hit back. Sim wins. The fixtures for the final game are posted. Sim, Carter and I are all in with a shout. I have to beat Buckingham and hope that Carter beats Sim. Buckingham takes an early game lead, but two mid-game bingos of Miss Lays and Adenoid secure the win for me. I look across to table one. They seem to be finished. The moment of truth. Who won? Tony did, I'm afraid. Oh, okay. Well done, Tony. Congratulations. Did you win? Yes, I did. <laughs> agony of agonies. And so to the prizes. Over 80s prizes were won by Charlotte Kine of Myanmar and Daniel Milton of the US. Over 70s prizes were won by Tanjin Chaw and Pui Dansawui of Malaysia. Best Disconnected Word Prize was won by Pui Wui. Momentarily distracted by the train for Dancer. Then the final three. Jerry, third. And I can wait 10 seconds. Uh, okay, smile. Everybody, okay, thank you. Oh, the winner! Oh, we forgot to win this. <laughs> Come on, Tony. Come on. Oh, okay. We have a new seniors world champion, but the circle of Scrabble goes round, like the letter O, and as the seniors tournament ends, another, five floors below, begins. Twelve million children have qualified for the Princess Cup. Elsewhere on the ground floor is the Premier Division for adults. Featuring some up-and-coming hopefuls. And some established stars. <laughs> 